ways and you're not going to win out either way. Bottom lane, they're attempting on hijack. We're going to play still on cooldown for the moment. They should have the damage with some of the right clicks. And look at Guts, 141 damage already to be working with with the help of the Falcon Blade. And not only that, across the map, they're even fighting to the Alchemist. They'll get the kill to the Death Prophet. It looks like with the reinforcements, Benny will turn it back around as a deep attempt from No Rune. And Rune as well, so like you're just hitting everything all at the exact same time. This is exactly what No Runes were playing for. And now they could just look to smoke up together, go for an aggressive play, pick off a high priority target like that Alchemist. So Down by the outpost. Here. The extra is going to be committed towards the vengeful spirit, so they're going to be able to take care of Hiko, but now they'll turn it back around as Guts tries to show up. But the damage is not there to kill off Hijack. They need to be able to reset, but they're back in, though. 555 doesn't have the capability to get out. A swap closer towards Guts' positioning. Back in the end, let's still be the one for two. Is that the worst, though? Because Exo committed, and they're not going to lose a tier one tower, I don't think. Um, what they? They're dealing an okay amount of damage. They don't want to go in just yet. Look at that with the Solar Guardian. They should get the slam down. Storm the OSA follow up. Down goes Hijack. And now Mini instantly jumps towards Pample. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Uh, yeah, 80% chance to piss. There we go. DD activated. T1 tower is going to go down mid. See if they want to consider about going for another objective instead. They're going to bait into the jump. Oh, they will run straight just walk here. into hijack. An easy pickings. Like I mentioned, uh, cannot they be wondering. Just find Benny as well. Benny is the one doing the scouting right now. Daytime. The daytime will that allow them to see they do. They do. Yeah, they jump forward. Jupiter gets confirmation of Benny's positioning. He's going to try and get back to the T1 tower. But looks they are starting to TP down. They might be able to kill off the door break, but the swap away Hiko is able to keep Jupiter alive. And now they don't have answers towards Guts as the double damage went on to the Lino. It's just ripping them apart. The damage early on is too much for Bellrocks to handle. Now Robo Z might be stuck in the tree line as well. He's going to try and cut his way through, but he... No! The bell is shot! And didn't cut the tree that he needed to change the power shot. <laughs> Holy crap. Michelle's gonna be chucked Dyer's from so far away. Attack. Other side of the map. Basically as good as the Dawnbreaker uh, ulti. Ben. The Dawnbreaker. On, oh, they're fine. Oh, no, this is not a good position. Oh, no, 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 no. Guts no. on the high ground. And there's the missiles bouncing over the hijacked. A BKB, that's gonna do nothing most of likely damage. Look at them go! He gets some distance away, but it's all on the back of Ralph. I didn't see the Avatos combo come out from this uh, tiny, but I'm gonna need him to drop that Dyer's Eye of the Vizier. Like, 20% max mana reduction on a tiny is so huge! It means that you're probably only gonna be able to get, what, two combos off max? Oh, that doesn't look bad. Swap into the Solar Guardian. That might be able to get the first life. And Hiko can now play with the illusions. A low range swap back of Robo Z with the BKB down and dusted. It's looking like it might be all she wrote here. An Alchemist line up down 15,000 gold. Hiko's getting some tips as well for good measure. An interesting territory. Oh man, look at Mini. He's not Mini, I'll say that much. And that Mahiko can always swap, and no runes are gonna now have a second life to play with as well. So, it's just these things like the positioning from the edge and the bench, right? Yeah, look they at know that it's very hard for them to die. I mean, now they've got no tombstone. Five, five, five. Look at all the information that Hiko is providing them. A solar guardian directly dropped on the head to the bench. Was very bang, 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 bang. Bang. Kill. And meanwhile, Benny is getting mauled down by the right clicks. Can reposition, but it comes at such a grave cost. And everyone else's health pool is hijacked. He's just trying to catch up to one member, trying to find destiny. The zombies expire. He should have another round of Celestial Hammer to be able to get into the tree line. The Won't pinks are there, but the rest of the team, they're coming. They're coming for hijack they instead. Know. He was yep. out on the hunt, but now he's the one the that's in missile. trouble. Oh, got oh, it. Got it. LSA from God's God, like straight for your position too. <laughs> Yeah, that was now pretty much your one chance to back into this. Ah! I think this hero is like top five carries of the patch. So... Yep. What, who, who is there? <laughs> Baseless Void, PA, I think Naga's up there. Top five? 
I mean, yep. I haven't God, seen Naga, so have you seen a Naga game yet? Oh, All right. Well, mm, yeah, okay. Got some easy kill. It's a shame that he can just buy back and come straight back in. And it's a shame that the wind run does nothing into the MKB from Guts and now Kenny as well. And Benny, Kenny, the GGs are coming out shortly. Can they get Guts? No, they cannot. Oh. The rampage. Come on, go in. What are you doing? 